A new government report is raising eyebrows across the country, especially among anyone interested in extraterrestrials. In, uh, Amu Amuamua, is that yes, right? Yes, that's the right thing. Amuamua, which is an object that we detected in space that you believe could possibly have been extraterrestrial. The James Webb Space Telescope has recently spotted a fascinating object making its way back from space, named Umuamua, and it's got scientists buzzing with excitement. What sets Umuamua apart is its unusual elongated shape resembling a cigar and its peculiar movement trajectory, prompting some experts to wonder if it hails from another celestial body. Unlike your typical comet, Umuamua doesn't sport the usual tail or coma, which only adds to its mysterious allure. While some scientists think its behavior can be explained by natural occurrences like gas emissions, Others are toying with the idea that it might actually be an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Let's delve into the revelation from the James Webb Telescope about Oumuamua's reappearance and the intriguing possibilities it brings. Can we consider it a friend? It's astonishing what the James Webb Telescope has recently stumbled upon. Oumuamua is making a comeback. This time it's stirring up a sense of wonder among scientists. This familiar space entity has displayed a demeanor far from ordinary, defying expectations and established norms. This comet boasts a distinction that sets it apart from your average space rock. It marked the first documented visit from another star system, akin to a messenger from the depths of space. Instead of following the conventional path around our sun like most asteroids and comets, it opted for an unconventional trajectory hinting at its extraterrestrial origins, sparking heightened concerns of potential threats. Scientists swiftly mobilized to scrutinize it closely. The more they observed it through telescopes, the more perplexed they became. It sports a reddish hue, typically resulting from enduring bombardment by cosmic rays over vast stretches of time. What's particularly puzzling is its lack of the usual luminous tail that comets typically exhibit, posing a perplexing challenge for scientists to decipher. But its oddities didn't end there. There was more to this enigmatic entity. It was spinning at an incredibly rapid pace and inexplicably accelerating, especially as it journeyed away from the sun, marking a first in its kind of behavior. Scientists were eager to unravel the mystery behind Oumuamua's acceleration, contrary to their expectations of it slowing down. Nearly in a state of urgency, they entertained numerous hypotheses, grappling with a situation unlike any they had encountered before. Some speculated that perhaps it was due to outgassing, a common occurrence with comets, but urgent further investigation revealed no indication of such activity with Oumuamua. With no concrete evidence at hand, bold suggestions and inquiries began emerging, like could Oumuamua be of extraterrestrial origin, perhaps a probe dispatched by aliens to survey our corner of space? Professor Avi Loeb from Harvard even proposed the notion of it being a flat, lightweight probe traversing through space, propelled by radiation. While some expressed skepticism towards this idea, it quickly ignited discussions. However, as swiftly as Oumuamua appeared, it vanished leaving behind a myriad of enigmas. This revelation has profoundly altered our understanding of space, compelling us to delve deeper into the cosmos in search of answers. Embarking on a Cosmic Quest At the forefront of astronomical exploration stands the James Webb Space Telescope, a cutting-edge instrument capable of peering across the depths of time and space, granting us unparalleled glimpses into the cosmos. Widely hailed as an engineering marvel, it represents the pinnacle of telescope technology. Its primary mission is to unravel the long-standing mysteries of the universe, delving into realms that have long confounded scientists and achieving feats previously thought unattainable. Among its myriad capabilities, one of the most remarkable is its swift detection of faint heat signatures emanating from celestial objects, offering invaluable insights into planetary atmospheres even those situated beyond our own solar system. The cosmos is vast and teeming with phenomena that often elude our understanding. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope 
embarked on a crucial mission to scrutinize the universe's wonders with unprecedented precision. It endeavors to tackle some of humanity's most profound inquiries, our origin, our cosmic companionship, and the enigmatic facets of existence. Serving as our cosmic sentinel, it vigilantly monitors celestial occurrences, relaying back invaluable data poised to unlock the universe's deepest enigmas. Its agenda includes probing phenomena like stellar explosions, enigmatic black holes, and elusive dark matter, while its infrared prowess unveils uncharted realms of space, unveiling sights like burgeoning star nurseries. In its quest, the James Webb Space Telescope has unearthed captivating revelations. It has stumbled upon nascent stars birthing in unexpected locales, prompting a re-evaluation of stellar formation theories. Furthermore, it has spied distant exoplanets potentially hospitable to life, some boasting atmospheres suggestive of life's presence, an exhilarating prospect indeed. What left scientists awestruck was its remarkable ability to peer into the past. By capturing light from galaxies so distant and ancient that they formed shortly after the Big Bang, it offers us a mesmerizing glimpse into the origins of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. It's akin to delving into the opening chapters of a cosmic saga. These revelations aren't just significant, they're monumental. The James Webb Space Telescope transcends being merely a sophisticated instrument. It serves as a beacon, guiding our exploration. It urges us to persist in our quest for knowledge, to continually push the boundaries of our understanding. In essence, it extends an invitation to all humanity to gaze upward and ponder the infinite possibilities that space holds. The remarkable telescope made a groundbreaking revelation regarding Oumuamua. Leveraging its immensely powerful infrared capabilities, the telescope afforded us an unprecedented close-up of Oumuamua. However, Oumuamua isn't merely passing through this time. It's embarked on a daring trajectory through our solar system, seemingly defying the laws of celestial mechanics. Typically, celestial bodies like comets and asteroids adhere to predictable orbits dictated by gravitational forces, yet Oumuamua appears to be charting its own course, unaffected by external influences. As it nears Mars, its peculiar behavior has piqued widespread intrigue and speculation. The return of Oumuamua has set the global scientific community into a frenzy as researchers endeavor to unravel its enigmatic nature. Its reappearance isn't merely happenstance. It serves as a beckoning call for us to delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos. Perhaps within this enigmatic wanderer lies the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe concealed amidst the vast expanse of space. Oumuamua has captivated our collective imagination, its very name derived from Hawaiian, evoking notions of a cosmic scout or messenger from distant realms. When scientists initially spotted Oumuamua, it appeared fleetingly, almost like a passing blip on our cosmic radar. Yet, even during this brief encounter, its peculiar elongated shape and rapid rotation captured the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. However, what truly baffled everyone were the peculiar bursts of energy emanating from it, akin to signals being transmitted into the void of space. Such behavior is unprecedented among typical celestial objects. Furthermore, observations indicated alterations to its surface, suggesting underlying phenomena that remain elusive, perhaps originating from within or beyond Oumuamua itself. Upon its initial detection, Oumuamua's anomalous characteristics stirred a commotion among astronomers. They embarked on a frenzied quest for natural explanations to decipher this cosmic anomaly. One prominent hypothesis centered on solar radiation pressure, a phenomenon analogous to wind propelling sailboats across vast oceans on Earth. Could the intense solar emissions exert pressure on a thin, flat object, propelling it through space and accelerating its trajectory? While this theory held promise in shedding light on Oumuamua's mysterious journey, the boundless cosmos continually offers new possibilities, prompting the emergence of fresh conjectures. As comets journey closer to the sun, 
they undergo spectacular gas emissions akin to exhaling, which in turn can propel them forward, mimicking the propulsion mechanisms of spacecraft. Data on Oumuamua's trajectory primarily came from observations made by the PANSTARS, one telescope and the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope. Additional insights into its composition and shape were gleaned from observations conducted using the Very Large Telescope, the Gemini South Telescope in Chile, and the Keck 2 Telescope in Hawaii. These observations were spearheaded by Karen J. Meech, Robert Warrick, and their team, culminating in the publication of their findings in Nature in November 2017. Subsequently, space-based telescopes such as Hubble and Spitzer joined the observational efforts. By 2020, Oumuamua had significantly dimmed, reaching a faintness of the 34th magnitude. Despite its relatively small size and low brightness, its behavior during its closest encounter with the Sun in September 2017 posed an intriguing puzzle. Notably, it remained undetectable in stereo high 1A observations, suggesting a brightness of approximately 13.5 magnitudes. By the end of October that same year, its luminosity had further diminished to an apparent magnitude of about 23. By mid-December 2017, it had become too faint and rapidly moving to permit further study, evading even the scrutiny of the largest ground-based telescopes. Due to its interstellar origins and elongated shape, Oumuamua drew comparisons to the fictional alien spacecraft Rama. Its reddish hue and variable brightness characteristics typical of asteroids further intrigued researchers. Despite efforts by the SETI Institute's Allen Telescope Array to detect radio emissions from Oumuamua, no unusual signals were found. Subsequent detailed observations, utilizing Breakthrough Listen hardware and the Green Bank Telescope, also failed to detect any narrowband signals. Consequently, it was concluded that any potential transmitters associated with Oumuamua possessed an extremely low effective power of 0.08 watts. The trajectory and velocity of Oumuamua offer invaluable insights into its interstellar origins and its journey through the solar system. Its path, originating roughly from the direction of Vega in the constellation Lyra, with an incoming motion angle of approximately 6 degrees from the solar apex, strongly suggests an interstellar origin. The object's hyperbolic trajectory and eccentricity, exceeding 1.0, affirm that it is not gravitationally bound to the solar system and will eventually depart into interstellar space. This exceptionally high eccentricity, unmatched until the discovery of 2i slash Borisov in August 2019, eliminates interactions with planets within our solar system as the primary cause. As it journeyed through the solar system, Oumuamua reached its peak velocity of 87.71 km per s at perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, occurring on September 9th. The gravitational pull of the Sun then redirected its orbit sharply northward, propelling it away from the solar system toward the direction of Pegasus. During its outbound trajectory, Oumuamua traversed beyond the orbital paths of Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune. Gradually, it will decelerate as it moves farther from the Sun, eventually reaching a velocity of around 26.33 km per second, akin to its velocity before its approach. This distinctive trajectory and velocity underscore the exceptional nature of Oumuamua as the initial known interstellar object to traverse our solar system, offering valuable insights into the dynamics of interstellar travel and the possibility of encountering similar objects in the future. Among the myriad objects scattered across the cosmos, few have captivated incited debate and sparked speculation to the extent of Oumuamua. Earth's inaugural visitor, Oumuamua, the inaugural visitor to our planet, is a diminutive object, estimated to be around 100 to 1,000 meters in length and 35 to 167 meters in width. It boasts a reddish hue reminiscent of objects found in the outer reaches of our solar system. Despite its proximity to the Sun, it lacked the typical hazy halo that envelops comets. While it shares the characteristic rotation common to other celestial rocks in our solar system, 
Its distinctive shape sets it apart from the majority of observed space objects. It's not associated with any of our familiar planetary systems, and its origins and age remain a mystery. While many scientists lean towards Oumuamua being a natural object, our limited time studying it leaves much uncertainty. It could be comprised of asteroid-like rocky material or possess characteristics akin to icy comets. Some speculate it might be a remnant of a shattered comet or a fragment from a distant Pluto-like planet. In 2023, astronomers proposed that its acceleration might be due to trapped gas, hinting at its potential as an interstellar comet, resembling those found in our solar system but originating elsewhere in space. The peculiar behavior and attributes of Oumuamua have led some scientists and enthusiasts to ponder the possibility of it being an artificial probe dispatched from an extraterrestrial civilization to explore our solar system. The mere existence of such a theory adds a captivating dimension to the discussion. With our understanding of Oumuamua still incomplete, scientists are delving into various hypotheses, including the intriguing notion of extraterrestrial intervention in its origin and purpose. The enigmatic nature of Oumuamua alone captivates our attention. It's akin to receiving a mysterious message from the depths of outer space, urging us to decipher its secrets. Oumuamua's reappearance offers us an opportunity to amass more data and, ideally, uncover some answers. However, the alterations it undergoes only serve to complicate our efforts to comprehend its true nature. Our solar system pales in comparison to the vast expanse of the cosmos, which boasts billions of galaxies, each teeming with stars and planets. Since its discovery, the identification and classification of Oumuamua have been the subject of ongoing revisions and debates. Initially labeled as Comet C2017U1 Pan Stars due to its highly hyperbolic trajectory, subsequent observations failed to reveal any cometary activity. This led to its reclassification as A2017U1, marking it as the first comet ever to be reclassified as an asteroid. Upon confirmation of its interstellar origin, it was redesignated as 1I-2017 U1, establishing it as the inaugural member of a novel class of celestial objects. The lack of a coma implies that Oumuamua possesses minimal surface ice, with any volatile substances likely residing beneath a thick outer layer. This suggests that it either originated within the frost line of its home stellar system or spent sufficient time in its inner region, causing surface ice to sublimate akin to Damocloids. Determining the more probable scenario poses a challenge due to the complex dynamics of small celestial bodies, although its spectrum leans towards the latter possibility. On June 27, 2018, astronomers disclosed evidence hinting that Oumuamua might exhibit mild cometary activity rather than being an asteroid. This conclusion was drawn from measurements indicating non-gravitational acceleration consistent with comet outgassing. However, subsequent studies in October 2018 proposed that it might not neatly fit into either classification. Some astronomers suggested that it could be a fragment of a disintegrated interstellar comet, known as an exocomet. Yet, initial observations indicate that the enigma surrounding Oumuamua continues to deepen its behavior and trajectory appear even more erratic on this occasion. Moreover, its velocity, trajectory, and even its physical attributes appear to have undergone changes since its last observation. What sets this celestial object apart? Insights gleaned from observations and analyses conducted using a variety of telescopes have unveiled intriguing details about Oumuamua. Spectral data from the Hale Telescope on October 25th depicted a reddish hue reminiscent of comet nuclei or trojans. Subsequent high signal-to-noise spectra from the William Herschel Telescope affirmed the object's uniform red appearance, akin to Kuiper belt objects. Spectral readings obtained with the Very Large Telescope indicated a resemblance to D-type asteroids. In terms of its rotation, Oumuamua seems to exhibit a tumbling motion 
rather than a steady rotation around its primary axis. This tumbling action results in various reported rotation periods, with estimates ranging from 7.3 to 8.10 hours. It is hypothesized that Oumuamua's tumbling motion was induced by a collision in its original system, and it has continued tumbling since then. The object's brightness patterns hint at a highly elongated form, possibly resembling a cigar-like shape or an exceptionally flat object such as a pancake or an oblate spheroid. However, direct observations of its size and shape have proven challenging due to its appearance as a single point of light when observed through telescopes. The estimated dimensions vary based on assumptions regarding its reflective properties and shape, spanning from approximately 100 meters to 1,000 meters in length. Research indicates that Oumuamua could be composed of dense, metal-rich rock that has been reddened by exposure to cosmic rays. Its surface is likely to contain tholins, organic compounds that have been irradiated by objects from the outer reaches of the solar system, contributing to its reddish hue. Despite the absence of a comet-like coma, it may still harbor internal ice protected by an insulating covering. Some astronomers have suggested that Oumuamua might be akin to a cosmic dust bunny, comprising loosely bound aggregates of dust and ice particles. However, its precise composition remains a mystery as ongoing studies endeavor to unravel the enigmatic properties of this interstellar guest. Now, let's turn our attention to other intriguing celestial visitors. Back on February 11, 1978, using the formidable 122 cmeem Schmidt telescope, Keith Tritton made a remarkable discovery during an extensive 3AJ exposure. This find carried significant weight since comets are often challenging to detect, requiring meticulous observation techniques. After its initial sighting, the comet appeared to vanish during its expected return cycles in 1984, 1990, and 1996, leading astronomers to believe it was lost during those periods. However, on October 6, 2003, utilizing images captured with a 0.12M refractor, astronomers C.W. Jules and P. Holvorsham spotted a comet with a trajectory resembling that of the previously lost comet. This revelation led to the realization that it was indeed the same comet originally discovered by Keith Tritton. The recalculated orbit of the rediscovered comet was confirmed to be identical to Tritton's discovery. This significant finding was documented in International Astronomical Union IAU, Circular No. 8215, released on October 7, 2003. The successful recovery of the comet underscored the efficacy of modern astronomical techniques in monitoring celestial bodies over extended periods. Following its rediscovery, the comet was observed during its appearances in 2010, 2016, and 2022, further cementing its identity and trajectory. In a noteworthy development on October 2, 2022, astronomers announced the detection of a new fragment of the comet. This fragment, labeled as Fragment B, exhibits a smaller orbit compared to the primary fragment. Fragment B is anticipated to approach its closest point to the Sun, known as perihelion, in March 2028 based on orbital calculations. Subsequently, the primary fragment is forecasted to reach perihelion in May 2029, approximately one year, two months, and 11 days later. This revelation expands our comprehension of comet behavior and opens avenues for further exploration into these captivating celestial entities. The Trois-Nujmin del Port of Jupiter This comet is classified as periodic and is part of the Jupiter family, indicating that its orbit and characteristics are significantly influenced by Jupiter's gravitational force. In 2002, astronomers made a groundbreaking discovery. The comet had fragmented into a minimum of 20 pieces. These fragments were observed scattered along the comet's orbital trajectory, spanning an angle of 27 arc minutes from the comet's surviving nucleus. The backstory of this comet's discovery is intricate, involving multiple co-discoverers and communication hurdles, especially amid World War II. Daniel Dutois first spotted the comet, 
later designated as P-1941-01, on July 18, 1941, while stationed at Boyden Station in South Africa. However, due to communication delays, his report about the comet didn't reach Harvard College Observatory until July 27. Meanwhile, Grigory N. Neujman, working at the Semis Observatory in the Soviet Union, independently detected the comet on a photographic plate exposed on July 25th. However, his confirmation of the observation faced a delay due to communication issues, with the radiogram from Moscow taking 20 days to reach Harvard. The official announcement of the new comet was made on August 20th, 1941. Subsequently, it was disclosed that Eugène Joseph Delporte at the Royal Observatory in Belgium also spotted the comet on August 19th, leading to his recognition as a co-discoverer. Additional observations were reported by Paul Anert at Sonneberg, Germany, who observed the comet on July 22nd. However, this information arrived too late to be officially acknowledged as a discovery. Fragment A of the comet was last observed in 2002. Comet Taylor is a periodic comet within our solar system, initially sighted by Clement J. Taylor in Cape Town, South Africa, on November 24, 1915. Let's delve into it. Clement J. Taylor's Astonishing Discovery Subsequent observations by George von Biesbrecht and E. E. Barnard at the Yerkes Observatory in Wisconsin, United States, unveiled that the comet had bifurcated into two distinct nuclei, although this occurrence ceased to be observed after March 16th. Despite predictions for its reappearance in 1922, the comet vanished, leading to its classification as a lost comet. In 1928, the identification of Comet Rhinemuth 1 was initially mistaken for Comet Taylor, repeating the error in 1951 with Comet Arend Rigaud. The comet's anticipated return in 1976 was anticipated by N. A. Belyaev and V. V. Emelyanenko. On January 25, 1977, Charles Cowell at the Palomar Observatory in California, United States, discovered photographic proof from December 13, 1976. Comet Taylor was rediscovered during its appearances in 1984 and 1990. In January 1998, it was observed with a magnitude of 12 when it was one astronomical unit from Earth. Only six images of Comet Taylor were taken during its recovery in October 2018, when it had a magnitude of about 20.5. Due to the limited observations, there is a three-sigma uncertainty in the comet's distance from Earth, estimated to be I-6000 km when it reaches perihelion on March 18, 2019, at a distance of 2.45 AU from Earth. Comet 72P Denning Fujikawa has embarked on a fascinating journey since its initial discovery in 1881. It vanished from sight for nearly a century before re-emerging in 1978. Despite astronomers' forecasts, it doesn't consistently appear as anticipated, earning it the classification of a transitional comet. Its conduct continues to confound, marked by sporadic appearances and a trajectory gradually diverging from Earth. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more engaging videos.